welcome to this tutorial and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make metallic water text in GIMP. So first what we're going to do is open up a new image 640 by 480 and I'm just going to fill it in uh, with black as my background and then using my text tool and I'm just going to use text sans bold and I'm going to write <coughs> O just because it's th probably the most random letter you can get 200 size 200 and I'm gonna change the color to white maybe a little bit bigger uh I think that's good and we're gonna auto crop layer so you go layer auto crop layer <coughs> and then use a centering tool and click on the, the image and center it relative to the image. All right, now we're going to alpha to selection it and uh, stroke down with a light gray to dark gray gradient. <coughs> All right, and you can select none and then go layer, layer to image size. Okay, that's good. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, uh, water effect. So um, using the path tool, we're just going to create these lines <coughs> and uh, hold control to finish the selection and then hold control uh, and click and you can uh, bend the lines so that they look sort of wavy to get a good effect alright <coughs> and uh, we're gonna fill that path in let's go selection from path and uh, make a new layer and then uh, fill it in let's actually stroke down a gradient but use the color light blue to a dark blue. So stroke down. You can select none. I'm going to make the path invisible. Alright, now alpha to selection the text. Go select, invert, and on the water layer just press delete. You can select none. And uh, now what we're going to do is uh, alpha to selection the text and we're going to add uh, uh, what's it called? Glossy sort of effect to it. So make a new layer above everything. Fill it in with black. Uh, you can select none actually. Fill it in with black, and then put the mode, layer mode on dodge. All right. Uh, go on this layer and check, lock it, so that if you try and write on anything that's not, uh, that's alpha, it won't let you write on it. So uh, we're going to write with our white paintbrush. <coughs> and on a fuzzy brush with the opac er, opacity around 20 and a bigger scale about that on the black layer we're just gonna write and we're just gonna add highlight effects maybe more prominent around the bottom and around the sides All right, that's good. All right, <coughs> and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck the lock button. All right, uh, now now what you're going to do is we're going to go layer or filters, render, clouds, plasma on the black layer, and turbulence all the way up. Click OK. And then go colors, desaturate. Okay. And then go filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Er, sorry. Filters, blur, motion blur. And uh, put the angle on 90. And the length, maybe about 100. And click OK. 
All right, <clears throat> and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to alpha to selection the thing and go select invert edit fill with fg you can select none so that none of the background effects uh of this white layer or this black layer affects anything else and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh start adding the effects to the silver uh layer on this but first before we do that we're going to alpha to selection text go select grow by one pixel and we're just going to fill it in with white on a new layer below this and you can select none and then alpha to selection uh... that sphere again make a new layer below it go fill uh... fill that in with black select none go filters blur gaussian blur on the black layer and i'm going to give it a blur of 10 and click ok and that just added the shadow and uh, we're going to turn the opacity down to around 70 and on the move tool click move the active layer and then move it down and to the right like that that's good and we can turn the opacity down a little bit more okay and uh... now we're, what we're going to do is add the effects to the sphere All right. <clears throat> so with the white we're just going to start painting in like that and i'm going to put the opacity down some more maybe a little bit more maybe about 16 and yeah so just keep on adding this so just like <coughs> that <coughs> And uh, now what we're going to do is uh, turn the opacity of this layer down a little bit. About like that. Alright. <coughs> and uh, I think we should color the background layer. So we're going to go colors, color balance, and just add a little bit blue to it. Maybe a little bit greenish, but a little bit more like that so 72 for blue and 29 for green and click OK and that is how you make metallic water text in GIMP thanks for watching this tutorial